The Iran-Contra scandal featured the famous images of Oliver North testifying in front of a congressional committee, which I remember from when I was a kid. The event that goes along with this Twilight Struggle card is surprisingly effective, and we will look at it now here on Legendary Tactics. The Iran-Contra scandal card in Twilight Struggle doesn't have a splashy effect, but most people don't realize how effective this card can be. This is a solid event for the USSR, although the US can easily mitigate it. Let's examine it in more detail now. First of all, let's look at the event. Iran-Contra Scandal is a Soviet 2-op starred late war event card. Triggering the event results in a negative one die roll modifier for all US realignment rolls for the remainder of the turn. Please note that some people misinterpret this card as reading that the US only applies the negative one modifier to their own realignment attempts, when in fact it applies to all realignment rolls for the rest of the turn, including those initiated by the USSR. For the Soviets, this card is surprisingly good. Because some people don't interpret this card properly as I noted earlier, players unfortunately don't view this card as being that valuable. If you get this card in hand, it can be a good headline, especially if you had planned on doing some realigning this turn. This will give you maximum benefit from the event effect. Because of the modifier, there should be a lot more potential realignment targets, typically in the mid-war regions of Central America, South America, and Africa, where realignments are much more common anyway. Look for areas where, before the event, the realignment rolls were even. Now you magically have a one pip advantage on the dice. Also, you can now and for the rest of the turn set up realignments much more cheaply than would be the case otherwise. Often just controlling a single neighboring country is enough to give you decent odds of succeeding. The modifier can also discourage the Americans from doing any realignments they had planned. Although the modifier is not crippling, it will likely be enough to steer the US strategy in less effective directions. For the US, this card is relatively easy to mitigate. Just save it for your last action round and have the event trigger after you take the operations points. There's some risk to playing it any earlier than this, but you can maybe get away with it if you have saved up a special end of the turn play. So in summary, the USSR can potentially benefit a fair bit from this card, as long as they had planned to do some realignments this turn, or to discourage the US from doing them as well. Play it early in the turn to get the maximum benefit. And for the US, simply play it on your last action round to no effect, and do what you can with those two operations points. This has been our analysis of the Iran-Contra scandal card in the game Twilight Struggle. Thank you so much for watching. If you got some value out of this video, please take a moment to like, comment, and subscribe down below. This is Legendary Tactics.